This is said to be the most improved golf ball by my golf spy. And it's the Mizuno RB Tour X. I wanna have a hit with it compared to the Titleist Pro V1 X just to see how far apart they are in terms of performance and see how good the claims are. Mizuno aren't renowned for their golf balls, but they come at a different price point to the Titleist Pro V1X, because let's face it, the Titleist Pro V1X is the market leader for this type of golf ball. The consistency of manufacturing is very good, and it's proven time and time again in many strands of the industry that the Pro V1X is a very good golf ball. So a few wedges from 110 yards with the Mizuno RB Tour X. Nice little thin one to start with. Well, just at the Back of the green, drop and stop, nice. The Tour X and the Mizuno and the Pro V1X are harder core golf balls. So being harder in the core, you need a little bit more clubhead speed to get that ball to squash and release off the face. So they are designed for the slightly faster swing speed. Going up fairly high on the green, coming backwards. That's getting right up there. So I can visibly see quite a lot of height coming from that. Backspin as well. Quite a high pitch clicky volt golf ball, which is coming from that harder inner core. Now when the inner core is harder, it allows this outer layer, this soft urethane material to deform and reform when it grips the face of a wedge, which gives it a bit more grip, friction and release to create more spin. They also tend to make them with thinner covers. So that thinner cover also gets a bit more interaction with the wedge face. When the cover's really thick, it doesn't get the chance to deform and reform as much, thus spinning a little bit less. Yeah, that's going straight up. It is pretty much on my number though. Get in the hole, raw. So I'm quite happy because I'm in and around my 109 area. And with my yardages, they are sensitive to the golf ball that I choose to play with. This is the Titleist Pro V1X. I wanna see how these golf balls stand up to each other in terms of height, spin rate, and carry. So it seems that a little bit lower on that one. The one before did seem a little bit higher. There's gonna be some variance from human interaction. Getting up there, that does feel a little bit lower in peak height. Final shots. On the green, nicely. Bit of backspin. So peak height, the highest point the ball reaches, very comparable, 87 against 88, one yard. 111 against 109, not too far different. Side spin, basically the same. Very similar ball speed, very similar launch angle. We've got a little bit more spread with the Shrixen and tighter spread with the Titleist, but we're one yard different, no dramas. Spin rate wise, we're 11,400 call it against 11,900, 500 revs of spin difference, but we've got more with the Pro V1X. And we've also got 492 of variance against 215 of variance. The launch angle varying more and the launch angle varying less. So the Pro V1 is better so far. Difference in the side spin are very much the same. Bigger spread in descent angle, bigger spread in offline yardage, bigger spread in peak height bigger spread in carry, bigger spread in total distance. Although I tend to ignore total distance to be fair. Carry is the most important number for me because it's very much the same throughout the year. The total distance might vary in the summer to the winter more than it would the carry. So albeit the data is quite similar and characteristic, the consistency of each data point is better with the Titleist Pro V1X. So let's hit that Pro V1X on a seven iron and see what it does. Three solid shots. I absolutely need to retune into my yardages. I've got 177 written on this golf club and all of those have carried about 190, so my yardages are incorrect. I need to recalibrate. Mizuno RB Tour X with my untuned in seven iron. Although I did know that my yardages are out because I already put the green at 190 because I know it's going further than when I last did my yardages. I'm working on my speed, I'm working on my technique, I'm trying to get the ball to go further and it so far is. But what I wanna do on the golf course is I wanna know how far each club goes so I can predict my way around the golf course with a lot more accuracy. I don't wanna stand there with 177 to the pin and hit this because it's simply not gonna do it. Three pretty comparable shots. 
So the peak height on the Pro V1X is 120 against 116, so the Mizuno is slightly lower. The side spin that's created is 850 against 716, so it's relatively similar. Backspin 58 against 57, again relatively similar. Pro V1X, we are faster with a tighter tolerance, 1.4 against 0.5. We are slightly higher with actually a worse tolerance, nice. So that, that tolerance in the Mizuno didn't vary as much. Launch angle coming up very similar. Slightly worse in variance in the backspin. Slightly more variance in the initial launch angle. Very similar tolerance, well, the same tolerance in the carry, but we're slightly longer with the Pro V1X, slightly shorter with the Mizuno, not really a much to worry about. The dispersion rings look quite similar, quite uniform, one's just a bit more to the left. I'd put that bit down to me. Mizuno RB Tour X Golf Ball with the driver. I've got the Strixon ZX5 LS, so the weight is at the front, which is a lower spinning, lower launching version. Nine and a half degrees on standard setting. This is a shaft I've never hit before, so it's the Miyazaki Codex 7X. We've got a profile here that says that the tip is stiffer, so we've got 5688. We're stiffer at this tip section of the shaft, which should in theory launch the ball lower with less spin. I've never hit this shaft before, so I'm a little bit curious to see what it feels like, but I'm gonna hit the same driver with each golf ball from a yardage. So get that up to there, one three twenty-five. Right, let's bang a few drivers, see what they do. Mizuno golf ball. Feels slightly heavier, but the last driver I hit, for me, 10 minutes ago was a 50 gram stiff. Oh, that's traveling. 325. Nice. Not bad for the first bat. Good launch, good spin. I like it. There we go. I've kind of tuned into the feeling of the shaft on that one. Oh, that's just as healthy. That is a nice shaft. 317. Now, because I hit a lot of shafts and I test a lot of golf clubs, I can feel the stiffness in the tip straight away. Other people might not notice it, but if you go and have a fitting, you might notice these things or get some benefits in ball flight. Oh, I had to overdraw one, didn't I? Well, to be fair, it's only just outside the green from 325. I'm not going to pick hairs at that. Similar yardage, fairly uniform shot. Let's go Pro V1X. Pro V1X. Just a little bit pushy. Traveling though. 329. Obviously the golf ball is not gonna throw the ball 20 yards right, that's me. Nice, tiny little overdraw. Up to that left-hand side, nearly pin high. I'm quite enjoying this shaft, eh? Comment if you'd like to see a video on this shaft specifically. And I will gladly do it, that is right. Oh, I'm gonna to have to ignore that one from the data pool because it's a big block slice. It's a big, big block slice, 318. But the face was so open on that to create that shot, it's not fair to bring that shot into the data pool. So I'm gonna take that one out and include this one that's on target. Yeah, oh, it's turned over a little bit. We'll see how they average out. Now I've seen this in a few ball reviews where the peak height, so we've got the Mizuno golf ball here, 102 average peak height against 96 average peak height, so the Pro V1X is lower by six yards. I think in my eyes, we saw a much bigger difference in the iron peak height, and it's a little bit closer together with the driver, interesting. So the side spin, 300 against 200, there or thereabouts. It's not gonna be the golf ball that causes that. Backspin, 2000 against 1800. I'm kind of looking for either spin rate, which is probably why we've got 294 against 293. We've only got one yard between these golf balls, which is pretty good. So the Mizuno's holding up quite well. Variance better with the Pro V1X, variance better with the Mizuno, variance better, mm, variance pretty similar. Variance better with Pro V1X, Mizuno, fairly similar. Offline, I'll put that down to me really. 11 against 13 variance, four against two variance, slightly tighter with the Mizuno. Five against six variants, it's not too bad. Now, is this me or is this the golf ball? The Mizuno is tight. That is very, very good. The Pro V1X, more spread. I do put me as a factor of this spread, but I'd have to say the Mizuno's done very well. Ball speed the same, launch angle very similar. Spin rate lower on the Pro V1X, but I'm kind of looking for 1800 to 2000, so I don't mind either. Again, like I say, that's why we're quite uniform here and fairly similar here. Actually longer than with the Mizuno, nice. 
The Mizuno is a decent ball. If you find it a bit cheaper than the Pro V1X and you want to try something new, give it a go. It's all right.